Hey, friends, we're learning how to make water bombs. Yeah, and we're gonna turn them into pumpkins. All right, checkers, you excited for Halloween? Yeah! We hope you guys are too. Today we're making a cool decoration for Halloween. We're using the origami water bomb, so we're gonna show you how to make that again, and we're gonna turn it into a pumpkin. Uh -huh. You ready to start? Yeah! For this project, we're gonna use origami paper. Origami paper is square, and it's colored on one side and white on the other, mm -hmm. and we have orange for pumpkins, right? Yes. And we also have scissors, we have black uh, colored pencil, and we also have a green pipe cleaner. This is going to be for the stem at okay. the very end. So we'll put that off to the side. We're gonna start with our paper. We'll flip it over so the white side is facing up and we're gonna take the top edge and we'll fold it down. And we'll line it up with the bottom edge. So get it all lined up and press it down. Now we're gonna take this edge and fold it over to the other side. Now with origami lessons, you may need extra time if we go too fast you could always pause the video. Now we got a square, we're gonna turn this into a triangle. So we'll take this first flap, like this, and we fold it up and take the middle. So we can put our, our finger in there, open it up, and we're gonna fold it down and squash it like this, so it turns into a triangle. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So that fold will line up with the inside. There you go, perfect. Now we're gonna flip it over and we'll do the same thing. We'll take this flap and we'll fold it up like this and we'll put our finger in the middle, open it up and then squash it down so it makes a triangle. Okay, now we're gonna take this corner right here and we'll fold it up to this corner and this edge will be right down the middle, just like that. Fold. <laughs> then we're gonna repeat that same step on the other side, like this. Got it? Squeaky fingers. <laughs> <laughs> then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna repeat those same steps on this side. We'll take this corner, fold it up to the top, line it up, press it down, and we'll do the same thing on this side. Now our pumpkins are going to be a little small and that's because the square paper that we started with was small. So if you start with a bigger paper, your pumpkin will be bigger. Here. Now we're gonna take this corner right here and we're gonna fold it right to the middle. That, and press it down. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll take this corner and fold it to the same point in the middle. Now I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so that it's easier for our art friends. We should have done that at the beginning. Hopefully that's easier for you guys to see. Yeah. And we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing. This corner is going to fold to the middle. And we'll take this corner and fold it to the middle also. And we're almost done. Now we're gonna take this flap up here at the top and we're gonna fold it down to that same point in the middle. And we'll do the same thing on the other side too. Fold that top corner down to the middle. Now this is the cool part. We lift this up and this, this tab right here, you can squash it and there's a little pocket inside there. Now that you have that pocket there, you can take this tab right here and fold it into that pocket. Yes. Push it in there and then you can squash it down. Okay, now let's do the same thing to the other side. We got this little tab right here. We can open up the pocket and then we can push this little triangle inside the pocket, tuck it in there and then squish it down. Good job, now let's do the same thing on this side. We're gonna fold this top, the top corner on this flap down to the middle point and we'll do the same thing on this side, down. Good job, all right, now we're gonna open up the pocket right there and then fold this little corner in and then squish it down. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Open it up, and tuck that corner in and squash it down. 
Now if you need to, you can pause the video, take a little extra time to finish that step if you need to. All right, we got all of the folds done. Now, down here at the bottom, you should see a little hole. There'll be a little hole that we're going to blow into to blow up our, our water bombs, okay? And that is actually the top of our pumpkin. So we wanna make sure, so that's been down at the bottom. See how the pockets are right here? Yeah. This hole is down at the bottom, and it also is where this little split in the paper is. So we wanna flip it so this side's up, okay? And then we're gonna take one of our pages and fold it this way. And then we also got this back here, we can also open like that. Cool? Now on both sides, you should see blank. See on this, on in here we have the pockets, and then if we fold the page, we'll have a blank, blank piece of paper there. Okay, this is where we're gonna put the pumpkin face. We're gonna take our black pencil, and you see this corner right here, and this corner? This is where it's going to fold. So we wanna make sure that our face is below that line in between these corners. And we wanna make sure that our face is above these corners. So let's fast forward. And you could draw any pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern face you want to. Okay. All right, let's do it right now. now. Good job, Trekkers, man. Your jack-o'-lantern face looks awesome. Now, you guys at home, you can draw any style jack-o'-lantern you want to. We tried to draw them angry. You could draw a friendly one if you want. Now we need to blow up our water bombs, okay? So this hole right here at the top, we're gonna, we're gonna pull our little tabs apart so it looks like an X, and then we, we're just gonna blow real gently into that hole, okay? okay. You ready? There we go. You just blow right into that hole, and you can see it better now. Usually with water bombs, you, you will crease the edges so that it looks more like a box. Yeah. And this way with the pumpkins, you can just leave it round like this. Now with the stem, we're gonna take the full size, and we're gonna push it down into that hole, and we wanna push it all the way down to the bottom, okay, so that we know how long we're gonna cut it. Take the scissors, and we're just gonna cut little Top off like that. You wanna do the same thing? Yeah. And the reason why you wanna push it all the way down to the bottom is so that it accidentally doesn't go all the way in and you lose it. Good job, man, that looks awesome. Was that fun? Yeah. It's pretty easy, wasn't it? Yes. Wasn't too hard. Mm -hmm. Now you guys can always pause the video if we ever went too fast, but that was super fun. Now you can make these on your own. Yeah. And we hope you had a lot of fun making these cool jack-lanterns with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.